Welcome back, wealthy people, to a new episode on the Wealth Up channel, where we discuss everything new around Tesla, the Cybertruck, and other EV news. Today, we will take a look at a secret Tesla union, the Cybertruck on its way to China, and of course, we have the Tesla video of the day for you later on in the video. Make sure to leave a like if you're excited and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's get into it. Did Elon Musk secretly create a union for Tesla and name it NOTA Workers' Union? The National Organization of Transformative Automakers, NOTA Workers' Union, is a union that describes itself as workers who are changing the world and coming together with a list of demands. How this union relates to Tesla is pretty evident when you visit the website. I wonder if Elon Musk created it. If not Elon Musk, it's someone who wants to see Tesla and its employees benefit from a unique workers' union, one that Tesla employees would actually favor. Recently, we reported that the US Senate Finance Committee advanced legislation that would boost the electric vehicle tax credits to as much as $12,500 for electric vehicles that are assembled by union workers in the United States. The Clean Energy for America bill would eliminate the current EV cap, which Tesla and GM have already reached, instead phasing out the credits over three years once 50% of US passenger vehicle sales are EV. The proposal would boost the $7,500 tax credit by $2,500 for vehicles made inside the United States, and there's also an additional $2,500 for vehicles made at facilities whose production workers are members of or represented by a labor union. Since Tesla, as well as Volkswagen, doesn't have US union workers, their credits would be smaller. Isaac Lateral shared the Nota Union site, which is how it popped across my feet. This union seems to be trying to gain the attention of Tesla, with Giga Texas as the website's background and a list of demands that are clearly aligned with Tesla's own mission and history. Even the acronym is a play on letters that remind us of the boring company, not a flamethrower. Here's a list of the demands from Nota's union website. Make 100% zero-emission vehicles by 2008. Meaningful work accelerating the transition to sustainable energy. Zero spend in paid advertising, investing more money in product development workers. Stock compensation for all full-time employees. Fixed CEO salary of 56000 or minimum wage, whichever is less. The right to purchase the vehicles we make in a state we make them. Cars we make should be eligible for the same amount of tax credits as those made by polluting vehicle manufacturers. Comparing the demands to Tesla, we know that Tesla only makes electric vehicles since it started producing vehicles in 2008. The company does meaningful work in accelerating the transitions to sustainable energy. That's its mission. Tesla also spends zero in paid advertising and provides stock compensation for all its full-time employees. Even though some news articles claim that Elon Musk is the highest paid CEO due to stock options, he doesn't take a salary at Tesla. Technically, he does get the minimum salary in California, but he doesn't accept the pay. Tesla is also advocating for the right for Texas citizens to purchase the vehicles made in Texas where they are made, as well as several other states where Tesla currently can't sell vehicles. You can learn more about this by visiting Tesla's engagement platform, which shares the battle that many states are having in this regard. I've extensively covered Connecticut and New York, as well as some issues here in Louisiana. The last demand is something that anyone advocating for clean energy, clean air, and clean vehicles will agree with. Cars made by NOTA's union workers should be eligible for the same amount of tax credits as those made by polluting vehicle manufacturers. I glanced at the sign-up form to join the union. One of the questions asked, which zero-emission-only automaker do you work at? Had four possible answers. Tesla, I work at an automaker that makes mostly ICE vehicles. Other, and I don't work in the industry. The last answer leaves room for those who support Tesla and electric vehicles to join, I think. The only other question besides the basic one asking for basic personal information wanted to know which of the demands you agreed with. For Tesla, this would be the perfect union for its workers to join, one that is perfectly aligned with Tesla's mission and supports both the company and its employees. 
If Tesla employees joined this union, Tesla would then qualify for the proposed extra $2,500 EV tax credit. This is a brilliant way to support the company, support its employees, and secure an EV tax credit for Tesla customers. The only thing missing from this is the cherry on top. Tesla Cybertruck on the horizon for China It looks like Tesla is preparing to sell the Cybertruck in China. Although we don't have a date yet for production or any information about this other than the fact that Tesla started accepting reservations last year for the Cybertruck in China. And now this new bit of information as well. Tesla China filed a trademark application in China for the Cybertruck. Drive Tesla Canada reported this and noticed that it's another clear step in preparations for Tesla to sell the Cybertruck in China, and was made on May 18, 2021. The article noted that the translation of shows the phonetic equivalent of Cybertruck literally translating to racing truck over there. The article also pointed out that the unique futuristic design of the Tesla Cybertruck is what could make it a big hit in China, isn't really as big in China as it is here in the US. The first step that Tesla took towards selling its Cybertruck in China was opening up reservations for it back in July of last year. This includes a refundable 1,000 yen deposit for all three variant availables for order. Last year, there were several homemade clones of the Cybertruck, including a Chinese one. The video below was shared on YouTube by Jay in Shanghai. According to the captions, the designer spent two months building the replica. The designer described the shape as a very simple shape and made some modifications while not wanting to change it too much. One of the modifications is what he described as a deltoid muscle or two humps. It's similar to the Lamborghini style. He also added a front bar with a searchlight and designed an inverted trapezoid as tribute to the Lamborghini's design language. Hopefully this designer will apply to Tesla China and help design a Made in China Cybertruck one day. It would be interesting to compare Made in China Cybertrucks with Made in Texas Cybertruck, if the former do indeed hit the market at some point. Alright guys, it's time for the video of the day. Let's take a look. How was that for a video? Let us know what you think about it in the comment section below. Would you like to have your video on here? Leave us a mail in the address in the description. And that's it for today's video. What do you think of this Tesla union being created? Make sure to let us know in the comment section down below. Also, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This video is brought to you by Neil Glasgow and as always, see you next time wealthy people.